Hi friends, it's Chrissy here, and we are going to go explore another booth today in part of our booth tour series. So today's booth is actually booth 29 in our antique mall, and it's a double booth. Up to this point, I've been showing you booth tours of about 8x8 eight eight booths. This one is an 8x16, so you'll notice that it's a lot more stuff compacted into this space, but if I can move over here, you can kind of get an aerial view. So I'm in the booth next to, across from it. So from that lighted cabinet over there, all the way to this white cabinet, that is 16 foot long, and then the booth is eight foot deep. So I'm gonna attempt to walk backwards here, and we're gonna dive in right away. So this case, the vendor does, has it not for sale. One of my recommendations is to always put every item in your booth a price on it. Your fixtures, things that you don't want to sell, put a high enough price on it that if you sell, you'll be okay with it. But by not having a price on it, um, customers kind of get turned off because they're like, oh, everything that I wanted wasn't for sale. Versus them saying, wow, everything that I wanted was really high. So I don't know if you can tell the difference, but when they're talking to friends and family about their experience, it sounds better by them saying it was too expensive or there's more than they wanted to pay versus it wasn't for sale. So, and as the mall owner, I highly recommend it because it just makes the dealer look better. It makes the mall look better. It's better for everybody. And I've had uh, vendors, I had this one, she had a small regular little black coffee table and she didn't want to sell it because she was using it for her prop and a customer's like I want that I will pay her $40 for it and most of the time they go for about 20 so it's double the money and of course the vendor took it but it was just another fact that put a price on it if you don't want to sell it don't bring it in if you kind of might sell it if the price is what right put that price on there so people know so that's one thing about this booth. Her fixture, she does not have a price on it. So it's a beautiful mid-century piece cabinet. Um, and she utilizes it for mostly Hallmark. She has so much Hallmark on here, it's crazy. Um, she had a connection for getting all kinds of Hallmark. Um, she told me since then that she's lost that connection. So, but for several years... They've been with us a long, long time. But for several years, she just kept bringing in new ones. She's trying to find a date. So this is a 2014 ornament for $7.50. See if I can find one that looks a little bit older. This one is a 1996 one for $6.50. So I don't think, I think most of her ornaments run between $2 and $10. She does have this. Um, porcelain tabletop ceramic tree here for 40 it looks like it's new never been taken out of the box but otherwise she has quite a variety and she actually sells ornaments all year long it's amazing um, up on the top you can see she has a little keepsake Hallmark thing and then she has some really cool mid-century pottery pieces um, and they just I think they look wonderful on this cabinet actually so, well, I guess I better look at this one here. This is a Hager green picture. It's $30. So, you can kind of get a visual. There's like little gold accenting on the ribs. So, anyway, we're going to continue. Um, from there, we're going to go next to the shelf. She has a Christmas Santa. He lights up in his animated Cowboy Santa, $24.95. She has these horse bookends. I don't know. They don't seem to be marked, but they seem ceramic and glazed. $15. She has this horse planter for $12.50. Some cute little moccasins that are real leather. She says $10 on white leather moccasins. So those are cute, whether you display or can wear them. She has a briar horse up here for 45. 
she actually has sold a lot of briar horses um new newer ones and older ones and then leading down here she has some more stuff this old cowboy with whip 32 valley rancher horse eight dollars tybini 750 and i believe yes these are briars so like this one here you can see by my hand it might be five or six inches tall it's 24.95 this, most of them are $24.95, it looks like, on this shelf. Little toothpick holder. A cute little glass cart. I don't know if it's marked or not. It's really heavy. And it looks like pressed glass, but... Anyway, this looks like um, an old baby toy. Ralston Perina. I guess that's an old dog toy. $24.95, but it's actually marked Ralston Farina on the bottom. A teen doll. She's bigger than Barbie. Anyway, we'll go down here. Some more Briar horses and some more dolls. And then little display um, cases for Hot Wheels. Um, a little storybook and puzzle. A huge jar, looks like of beads, for $10. And then what is this? Looks like an ornament laying in there, which probably wasn't supposed to be in there. A Coke lunchbox. And then, I don't know, they are shirt tails. I was going to say, I don't know if they're supposed to be shirt tails. But I remember these TV trays were huge. It was a big deal to have these when I was a kid, so I'm dating myself. But it is $15. That is super cute. The vintage Samsonite luggage. Let's see which way. Oh, here. Unlock it. Some of these are nasty inside, and some of them. Oh, this one's in really good condition. It even has a little sign on the mirror. It looks like it was never even used. And then we'll go up, have a little bit of Elvis and Coca-Cola items. My mom, for those of you that don't know, my mom is a huge Elvis fan, like huge. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and my mother-in-law was a huge Elvis fan. So my husband and I thought it would be an awesome idea to please them mostly and surprise them was that our plans were we were going to have a wedding at Graceland, because you can do that, you know, or you used to back, you know, years ago. Anyway, um, his mom got sick, and we didn't get to do that. But that was, like, what we were going to do for a wedding, um, is go to Graceland and have it there. And we just thought the looks on our mom's faces would be, like, so priceless and fun. But anyway, I've been there several times with my mom, and I think once with my husband, but... Um, my mom one time, she's going to kill me for telling this story quickly, but, um, one of the last times we were there, they did the tour with the headsets where prior to that, they did it where you had to walk through and you listen to the person. So we were going through the tour with the headsets and they were like a self-guided tour. And we were in a tour bus with a group of people and even with the headsets on, and I was at the front of the tour group, and it was um, a chartered bus full of people, so I don't know, 60 plus maybe. I could hear my mom singing over the headphones, over the noise of the crowd, and she was at the back of the group. So we still give her heck today that, you know, who needs a guided tour when you have her along because her voice could amplify over all that. But anyway, sorry, Mom. <laughs> but she is a huge Elvis fan. So um, we got some Fastoria. Let me get back on track here instead of jacking my jaws. Fastoria divided dish. Very pretty. Um, yeah, all kinds of these. I think, I think these are just so elegant. And if, like, you display with them or use them, I don't know. They just... They just add a little bit of elegance if you use them in your decorating. Um, all kinds of fun stuff. 
She has a few old toys here. This wind up rabbit 15. I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but it certainly does look old. I don't see any markings, but if you know anything about it, you know, shoot me a message. Oh, what does this say? Nope. It says do not wind. I guess it's wound tight. That's what she means by as is. A little doll here. She looks, oh, it's a briar doll. I did not know. I'm finding out Briar makes so many more things than I, than I realized. A cute little music box from Tennessee Waltz. Looks like it's needing a little bit of love. Cute little carriage back there. This guy is old as well. But he seems like he still works. I mean, isn't it fun to think that... Is there a marking on that? No. It's amazing, though, to think that, like, this kind of stuff and kaleidoscopes. I mean, can anybody remember the kaleidoscopes? This one was made in St. Louis, Missouri by the Steven Manufacturer Company, so that's fun. I don't know if I would have you look in there if you can see. Can you? I don't know. Anyway, another briar. She has some Francoma pieces. She had a lot more. She sold some. Anchor Hawking mugs. These are cute little hand-carved onyx birds. Oil lamps. Those go all year long. Some mid-century butter or cheese dish container. The super cute. Oh, this cute little German cup. Oh, I guess there's a little chip there. But still, you could decorate with that or use it. Um, I use, you know, coffee cups, nice glass dishes, containers. I use them in my cabinets to store things in just because when you open the cabinets, it looks pretty. This is a beautiful clock made in the USA by Hammond Clock Co. in Chicago. That is very cool. And another mid-century haul. This is very pretty. $45. So, um, little salt dishes. I don't remember using those ever in my life, so I think it was beyond my time but we do get the little spoons and I guess people used to keep their salt on the tables and then you would just use that to add to your meals so I wish we'd go back to some of those fun elegant things I call elegant but yeah so she has McCoy planters I do have an obsession with planters I don't understand why a little boy and girl I think these are no I thought they were Home interiors, but they're not. A cute little Humpty Dumpty plate. I don't know who that's made by. Oh boy. Looks like from Czechoslovakia. Wow. Very interesting. Ornamental urn. So that's a really nice piece for 75 So for those of you that don't know, I don't know if I mentioned this in other videos, uh, my husband's full-time job is an embalmer. So seeing urns and, you know, weird things, sorry again, weird things, I guess, to most people um, is normal for me. And actually he collects unique uh, funeral home type stuff. So one of these days I'll have to do a video on his collection of stuff. And if you're interested in that, you know, put it in the comments below. So I will uh, maybe be prompted to get on that a little bit sooner than later. But anyway, just seeing the urn reminded me of that. But this one's definitely much more orient, um, ornate and pretty, and it's not used for that. I guess you could use it for that. And we have had people come through here looking for containers and boxes and stuff like that to put um, deceased animals, um, mostly is what I know of. So, But you never know what you'll find and what you can use. Moving right along. So we have all kinds of fun little things. Enamel containers, Campbell soups, wow, a Chiquita plush doll, that's fun. You don't see those. And then we're going to go over here. She has a whole section of Jim Shores. So Jim Shore does not sell around here like it probably should. Um... I love this little peacock. Another one of my problems is I love peacocks. So she sells, I don't know, 
maybe six to ten a year I would if I was guesstimating but not gym shorts are not a huge seller around here especially at these prices if they were super cheap maybe but I don't know they're just not a big seller this cute little lamp crystal and these little birds these I think would sell I don't even know what they are birdstone birdie okay that's fabulous I think she has them priced a little bit too high because we do have people that come in that like little knick knacky stuff but they really only want to pay like a dollar to four dollars you know so it'd be better and I, they would move for that cute little lamp it looks like it's hand painted only $15 I know a lot of people are afraid of old lamps. I personally am a huge lover of old lamps. I don't usually rewire them unless they're really, really bad. Um, I know I put vintage lamps in my niece's bedroom when she was born and my sister was two weeks pregnant moving into a new home. I got to decorate it and uh, I put vintage lamps and she quickly took them out because of the fire hazard, which I understand. But you can always get them rewired and then they're like new. So don't rule that out because you can get great pieces and rewire them and it's just like a new lamp, but better. So we got some other pieces here, more anchor hockey. These are fun little size bowls. And you can tell, I mean, they're very well made, good quality. And the colors are fun. This is a little creature's. Large and small, like Jesus Point. I think it's a fountain by Jim Shore. And then we got some more mid-century stuff here. Again, a little shaving mug. Super cute. Yeah, so there's quite a variety here in this booth. As you can see, and I'll try to slowly go up here. She does have um, a lot of linens, like... This is a tablecloth for $5. You can see kind of country style. She has a couple quilt tops. She has some games. Most of her board games are $24.95. She has some spools, which I think are $10. $10 for a wooden spool. Um, some shoe inserts. And a fun story is... Um, we had a guy a couple years ago come through here. He was probably about my age, if I was guessing. And he bought all that he could find, kid ones and everything, in our store. And he was on his way through that he said his dad lived in, I think, New York. But his dad was a retired designer for Nike. And that his dad actually collected these wood shoe inserts. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I was appreciative that he shared the story with me. So you never know... Um, what people collect and where they're from and what they're doing with them. So it's kind of exciting and fun part of the job. Okay, I'm going to turn around and hopefully not blind you. I don't know if this is going to work. Maybe. She has this case full of beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, a lot of it is Fenton, I would say. Some satin glass, some regular glass. She has a lot of miscellaneous pieces. Um, I don't know. And yes, there's some pieces that glow with the uranium in them. So, sorry, I'm kind of shaky trying to do this free-handed, guys. She has some signed Fenton pieces. She has carnival glass Fenton pieces. Some cute little Disney cast metal figures. I don't know if they were went to a game or if that's how they were sold. Um... A pendulum clock. Looks like a kit, maybe for kids. I don't know. Um, some old vintage dice. A little bit of everything. Um, so I know she has some fountain pens in here. Some cookie stamps. Um, a daisy bottle opener. So Fenton Hummingbird. Those are beautiful. Um, and the bears, the Fenton Clown. She has several different types of these enameled pieces. So, if you can see all that, try to zoom out a little bit. Those are all different, like, trinket, um, trinket style boxes. They're super cute, heavy duty. Um, 
I love these milk glass drapery pieces. I mean, like I said, I just love the fact that you everything used to be so elegant. And a knife, which for obvious reasons you have to um, lock those up. She has that ink wall back there with the bottles in it. So very, some whole pieces. Those are different. I don't see a lot of that pattern. Oh, and she does have this, again, she has this cart not for sale. And like I said, I highly recommend to put a price on everything. So she has these cute little antique wooden chairs. Let me move these off. These are beautiful pieces. $24.95, that's super cheap. And a set of these dolls look like they're from the 80s for $24. She has this whole rack of linens, anywhere from vintage aprons to tablecloths to uh, napkins, a little bit of everything. And she changes it out and gets more Christmas at Christmas time and whatnot. And then she has this rack of well, a few Hershey uh, magnets, but a huge rack of dream or snow babies, I'm sorry, of Department 56 snow babies. And you can see there's a lot of them. So move right along here. And last, well, no, this ain't quite last, but that's my sweater I threw down because I was hot. Um, a cake stand. So a really cute mid-century piece here. A steak knife and wood box set. Wow, look at that. That is actually it's Anheuser Busch logo, the old logo on there. So that is super cool. The box alone is worth twenty-four dollars. This painted satin glass picture set. I love this. They're just a great little size. They're fun and feel nice to hold. That's cranberry vase. And then the super cool mid-century peacocks and this little bird and then I'll try to slowly go around the corner here she has baggies full of dollhouse furniture and little kids play set food stuff like that and then baggies of trolls personally I would sell the trolls individually um, they usually do really well, and she'd probably actually make more money by doing that. Um, she has these baggies of little animals, Frontiermen, Hot Wheels, and then like a little mishmash of stuff up here. And then, I don't know if this puzzle piece is in here, but she has some vintage puzzles. So... Cow and calf. Oh, I see. So, very cute. Oh, I remember my siblings had that one. So, some of these need some TLC. But they are fun. This beautiful wood purse. I love these. Um, $24.95. And I think she has as is because it's missing a couple of the rhinestones, which is usually common on these type of purses. She has a couple more kids things, Indian bonnet kit set, and a Chinese checker set. So I think I covered everything in booth 24. I'll try to slowly turn if I can. Extreme close up, sorry guys. Anyway, um, that is everything for today from booth 29. I hope you enjoyed our booth tour. And if you are enjoying these, Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to see or explain or to show more of um, during these videos. And until um, next time, stay awesome and have a great day.